it that there is no Zambian company that can supply uh, these wooden poles. Uh, because as far as we are concerned, in this country we have a, uh, one of the largest state-owned enterprises uh, called Zafiko. And Zafiko, uh, its sole mandate is to make sure that it grows uh, different types of trees which we use uh, for different purposes. And one such purpose is to supply Zesco. And uh, Zesco has been one of the major clients for Zafiko for a lot of years. Zafiko was established in 1982, and Zesco has continued to be one of the major uh, clients for Zafiko. So why is it that uh, Zafiko is not on that list? Uh, and if it is a, an issue of uh, capacity by Zafiko to produce or supply uh, these uh, wooden poles, our question is, what is the Zafiko management doing? Mr. Msonda, who is highly against the move, has questioned what has disqualified the Zambia Forestry and Forest Industrial Corporation, Zafiko, who have for a long time been offering the service and have full capacity to deliver the needed timber locally. This is the reason why our currency is not stable. If you are going to have to, to be importing a product such as uh, trees, trees which just grow even in the bush, where God himself just planted these trees, and then we decide to go and import a tree from another country, that's unacceptable. He says the move will negatively affect the country's stance on the support for local products. It's an embarrassment. We should stop this as Zambians. Let's allow for imports to be limited to things that we don't have the capacity to do, such as tech products. Uh, the cell phones, the TVs, we don't have the capacity right now to produce such. But as far as we are concerned, growing trees should not be a very difficult thing, such that we should go and import a tree. We should be embarrassed. The power utility company has since been encouraged to reconsider revisiting the entire process. Musole Mgara, Crown TV News, Lusaka. We do take a set of commercials. We still have more news stories. Do stay tuned.